What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, my beautiful breasties, my beautiful ladies. So um, as I told you from the last video, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Um, this video, I'm going to be going over a workout that you guys can do. Um, you can do it at home, you can do it at the gym, really to build that upper body strength again, really to tone your chest, your shoulders, everything works in your body synergistically. So you can't just train, train one part, not train the other because you will cause imbalances in your body. So today in this video, I'll be showing you a workout. I'll be going over, you know, um, when you can start working out, what exercises to do and how you're going to feel, um, what you can expect to feel like through this workout. I try to change for you, but you stay the same. I am Hannah Dawson, if you don't know me, also known as Fitness Ministry, teaching you how to train with a purpose, eat with a purpose, and how to have faith through the process. This is my Life After Breast Implants vlog. Um, don't forget to give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave your comments in the comment box below, you guys. Um, don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload new videos. Um, again, if you have any questions, any requests, leave them in the comment box. Don't forget to check the show notes as everything I talk about in this video and all my videos, everything will be in the show notes with links and stuff like that. Your freebie will also be in the show notes below. All right, so uh, let's get started. So let's um, go over, um, first and foremost, the workout will be at the end of this video. Um, let's go over um, when do you start working out? When can you start working out? Um, my doctor said six weeks. Um, and it's really important, you guys, that you listen to your doctor. It's not about like when you first got implants, you couldn't do chest exercise because you had the implants, so you had to be careful that they didn't shift. It's not like that this time. Um, although the first time it was that as well as it was your healing. So even though you may be healed externally, you're not healed internally for up to six weeks. So that means the the vet, your blood vessels, everything haven't connected and healed completely yet. So you're at high risk for clotting and, and bursting um, and like opening your stitches again. So um, that's why they say wait six weeks uh, because you don't want to get your heart rate up. That's the most important part. Uh, so pumping weights and stuff um, gets your heart rate up. Doing any type of exercise is going to get your heart rate up. The faster your heart rate starts going, the more it starts pumping blood through your system, the higher risk you are to um, get a blood clot or to rupture and get a hematoma. Um, things like that. There's way more stuff, but just be patient with yourself. Um, don't expect to just enjoy your recovery um, as much as you can. Just the, the more you can enjoy your recovery and just be patient, the faster you will recover because there's nothing worse happening than trying to rush everything and then something happens and it sets you back even more. Um, so just be patient with your recovery. That being said, whether you worked out before, didn't work out before, that will have, um, you know, uh, that will determine too what you can and cannot do um, and where you start with your workouts too. So I started working out about four weeks um, and I, and very minimal, you guys, body weight. I would do some like squats. I didn't do any upper body stuff um, because again, I would, I would start to work out and anytime I would start to sweat or I could feel my heart rate climbing up, I would start to feel um, a little bit anxious because um, if you guys haven't watched the rest of my um, vlog series, sorry, I got something in my eye, vlog series, I um, had my breast implants removed on a Friday and that night I got a hematoma. So what that means is my, my one breast started filling up with blood. It looked like I hadn't had my implants removed. My husband's like, you're fine, you're fine. I'm like, this does not, this is not fine. He's like, it's just swollen. I was like panicking. They had written down the doctor's number wrong because they'll always, the doctor will always give you his number, the surgeon, uh, in case anything like that happens but the lady had written down the doctor's number wrong. So like wrong person, it was just a disaster. So anyways, the next day I had to go in for an emergency surgery at the hospital 
and again get put under and they had to drain my breast and that's why um too just a quick note why a lot of surgeons will try to talk you out of having a caps cap capsectomy or just having your capsules removed is because it's such a high risk um, surgery for clotting for hematomas it's just because there's so many blood vessels around the heart um, and in the chest that they don't if they can avoid them they will unless you see a surgeon that you know is specifically you know all for getting the implants out um, so I really had to be pushy with my doctor you guys like I said nope this decision me and my husband have made he's and he still do you want to see pamphlets on you know that I said no I just I want them he's like okay and so just expect that um, be respectful of your surgeon but also know what you want um, and just be very assertive with that in the most respectful way um, so back to topic of working out so probably about six weeks you guys like the doctor said I started working out again I could start lifting weights um, so again I did splits so I started with three days a week full body um, and then from there I added um, added like more split days so split day just means I did legs one day upper one day legs upper and then started adding cardio and things like that by eight weeks you guys I was lifting heavy weight on my chest I was doing heavy dumbbell presses I was doing push-ups everything you name it so are you going to feel sore when you first start working out when you've had that long of time off yes if you had implants and you never worked out your chest because you were afraid of them shifting and now for the first time you're working your chest are you gonna feel incredibly sore probably and just know that um, that that soreness I felt super sore um, sometimes I would get these like little sharp pains through my chest it's normal it's your your nerve endings starting to connect and and heal again so don't be alarmed if like you're like oh something's wrong your muscles are gonna feel really sore especially if you haven't worked them in a while so start out lighter higher reps and then as you go from there you can bring your reps your set your reps down and your weight up and start building on that strength start building that muscle again things like that um, so you you are gonna feel sore I know that was a question that I got asked uh, from a few ladies so um, so with working out um, um, ladies it is so important uh, to work out for one um, it will really build your chest up give you tone definition um, that being said it's not gonna fill up the skin you're gonna have some skin if you're lucky and you and you have fat tissue um, after you had your implants removed that's awesome uh, you're lucky I didn't I just have skin in a nipple <laughs> so I just have to be grateful for what I have that I'm healthy um, it can be really easy to pick yourself apart but just really focus on um, training your body working out eating healthy finding cute sports bras. I talk about that in another vlog. My favorite sports bras are by Lorna Jane. Um, Lululemon aren't my favorite so much anymore. Just after having a flat chest, I find Lorna Jane has a little bit of padding. It makes me look a little bit, you know, like I have boobs a little bit, but I, it, it just makes, they make me feel good. It looks nice, flattering. Um, so Lorna Jane is the best, um, Play the best place for bras after you're having your implants removed if you are flat chested and if you're big chested too I just love them um, so again it's not gonna take away the skin if you had a lift you're lucky I decided to not have a lift because um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to have more babies or not and we're still not sure and um, when they do a lift you guys they cut where your normal scars are underneath but they also cut up the center of your boob to your areola they cut around your areola and that's then then they remove skin and lift your boobs and then sew everything back up so um, if you do that you can't nurse after it does something where you're not able to nurse so I didn't want to take that risk right now I just thought you know what if we they're fine and he said to you don't really have anything to lift because I don't have a lot of tissue in there so um, I decided not to do a lift, so I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to make the best of the way God made me and just train and lift heavy. And you guys, it's amazing what weights 
uh, will do to add muscle to your body. It's amazing, sorry, what muscle will do to your body when you add it and how toned and tight everything looks. Um, so don't be discouraged with that. Find a program. I'll put the links in, in below, you guys. As I said, I have a freebie for you. Um, um, in the show notes so that's an upper body workout too anything more than that you guys I do have an awesome fit club um, a online fit club where you get workouts clean eating things like that awesome awesome everything is so awesome there so if you need those type of resources you guys reach out check my website out fitnessministry.ca um, so let's get into this workout I hope you guys enjoy the workout um, I will be kind of explaining everything um, through this workout. If you guys again have any questions, don't forget to uh, comment in the comment box. Everything's in the show notes. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and I love you all and I hope you enjoy this. Have a good day. What is up? So we're going to start this workout. Don't mind my crazy hair. Um, these are the bras that I was telling you about. One of them, the Lorna Jean bras. I love them. It zips up in the front. The back is like so, like it, my pants. These are Lululemon and the line. They come up super high waist. Love it. So, um, I'm just gonna explain the workout a little bit. We are doing an upper body workout. So I will always give you and two options. The first will always be the more challenging one and the second option will always be um, uh, scaled down one if you're not quite at the um, full range of motion or that full exercise or a full push-up let's say i'll always give you an option so you'll see option one the first one option two how many reps so today's workout you guys we're going to be starting at 10 reps of everything and we're going to work our way down so the first round 10 reps of everything second round nine reps of everything third round eight and so on all the way until you get to one rep so here is the goal I want you to set a timer. And after you finished, you hit that time. What is your time? I want you to post in the comment, but uh, comments below what you got for your time. And this is where you will notice if you do this once every week, once every couple weeks, once a month, and you're con consistently working out, you will see your fitness level improve in this. One being that your first time doing this, it may take you longer to get through. You may have to take breaks throughout the circuits, throughout the reps. That's totally normal, totally understandable. Um, and the fitter you get, again, the faster you will get through um, this sequence um, and you'll get stronger, you'll be able to lift a little bit more, you'll go from doing a push-up on your knees to a full push-up, things like that. So just take mental note of that. That's what I want you guys to focus on. Focus on um, progressing in your fitness and before you know it, you'll look in the mirror and your muscles will be developed you'll be fitter, you'll be stronger, you'll be happier. So um, enjoy this workout, you guys. Uh, don't forget to get that freebie by entering your email in the link below, and I will send you an, another upper body workout, okay? So enjoy this workout, you guys. All right, you guys, we are gonna start with an ultimate burpee. That is a renegade row to a push-up, and then you are going to jump up into a burpee to a bicep curl and an overhead press. Now you can do these from your knees or from your toes. So I'll show you from your knees here. You drop to your knees for the push up, and then the exact same thing. Start with a weight, I would say 10 pounds or more for this. Then you guys are gonna go into a bench press, dumbbell bench press, rotate those elbows in. Um, a second option would be to just not go as deep. Uh, make sure you're contracting that chest muscle on the way up. Um, and again, 10 pounds or more for this one, ladies. Your next one, you guys, we have an inchworm push-up with a hop back. So you're gonna push up, walk your feet into your hands and hop back, back to a push-up. Option for this would be to do the push-up from your knees. So when you hop back, you are just going to go down to your knees, which I will show you here. You're gonna drop to your knees, push up. Remember you guys, 10 reps of each of these exercises in circuit style. And then as soon as you're done one round, you're gonna go and do these all again, nine reps of everything. You're gonna work your way down to one rep, all right? 
The next one we have here are lateral raises. This is for your shoulders. Nice and controlled, lead with those elbows and those pinkies first, come up to shoulder height. Really squeeze those shoulders without engaging those trap uh, neck muscle. And keeping that core tight, we're gonna go straight into a W press. So palms face in, hands nice and wide, pressing over your head, nice and controlled. And then you guys, we are gonna finish with some alternating V sits. And again, 10, so five each side total. Uh, option for this would just be to uh, uh, change the range of motion. So you can do it like this one here if your abs aren't as strong yet. Um, and that is it, you guys. And then you're gonna repeat this nine, eight, seven, six, all the way to one. Enjoy.